So I think um, Roland School had been, uh, the school was a little bit isolated from the local community because there's been lots of staffing changes over time and so we wanted to really focus on how we could link with the local community in a meaningful way which wasn't just piecemeal where it would be something that would be sustained over time so if we had somebody who could really focus on that we knew that we'd succeed and we didn't have in school really anybody who could devote enough time to that so a sports apprentice made sense for us. So. It's, be, it's made a huge impact. I mean, um, the fact that we're, we're not letting George go <laughs> um, because we want we we we've really valued everything she's done tells you that 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 role's been been massive. So um, it means that sports in school has become a much more high profile thing. Um, it means that the delivery of sports in school, the quality of that's improved greatly because George brings a lot of specialist knowledge that, that we a lot of the class teachers didn't have, including me. So I'm not I'm not saying anything about them. Um, and but also we formed those links then with the local community and with gated schools that we didn't have as in, in, to, to such a great extent before. So um, we have more teams being involved in, in activities and or in competitions across the local authority. Um, we've also got, um, we started to build just before lockdown, it's quite frustrating, some links with, uh, through the governors with um, existing clubs or associations within in Rolling Skill as well. Mm -hmm. um, so as soon as we're able to, we'll be rolling those out as well. But um, George has spent a lot of time doing um, work on the website as well. So we've got we've had virtual sports days. She's done sports lessons, um, meaning that the parents are involved and can see what we're doing in terms of sports as well, as well as everybody else in Bond Skill. Ah, oh, without question, yeah. I mean, I think um, Georgia, without Georgia, when, when Georgia's current apprenticeship was coming to an end, the, the panic that that caused, because uh, school kind of, uh, without Georgia, we wouldn't be able to deliver the, the offer that we have at the moment. And um, that's, there's two reasons for that. One is because, obviously, Georgia brings us an additional person, but the most important thing is, Georgia brings us an additional person who's got lots of skills and is really great with our kids. Um, the kids love working with her as well, because I think she's younger than the rest of us, so <laughs> this year is a bit cooler than all the other teachers. And so they really like being with her, whether it's at lunch times and play times, because she offers uh, sports activities then, or whether it's actually in PE lessons or in sports clubs, because she offers clubs as well. So um, she kind of touches base with almost every child in school, um, over the course of uh, her timetable and it just means that those kids get something different and also get to see somebody who, who their view is a little bit different from a teacher and they do have really nice relationships with Georgia. So. So um, what we we focused on can we can we build direct links with with Roland Skill with the area around school and that's why we were looking at those associations and and clubs and things like that that were in the local area and so Georgia would build those links with with those sports clubs and then get our children involved in working with them which immediately raises our profile in the local community and makes the people who who don't have kids coming to our school also understand what we're about and what we do um, because Georgia totally supports the school's ethos of, of what we want our children to be like, that is well-rounded little little people who get the chance to do um, lots of different things, not just maths and English all the time. And so she she was integral to that. And then also making sure that we had the chance to, to interact on a more gated wide level too. So where there was any form of sports event or anything like that, Georgia was either supporting the peak one or, or actually herself doing it, um, linking up and trying to get us represented in those those um, events too. And th that's been a really, really big thing for school because it means more children doing things than ever before in sports. And there has been a lot more uptake, hasn't it? In, yeah, because definitely. you've been running after school clubs. Also like a breakfast club where the kids did come in and have the breakfast, but they also came in and um, then did some sports activities. And that was aimed at those kids who, who were a little bit more vulnerable in school and who needed something to help them to access school more successfully or um, where maybe they just needed a little bit of extra support, um, whether that's practically in terms of making sure that they had a good start today, or but also just emotionally so that they could come in and get themselves prepared for the day. And that was really going very well, but again, lockdown yeah. has affected those things. Yeah. So, yeah.